Hi everyone. So it appears the saga continues. Uh, if you aren't sure, yesterday I posted a short correction video um, explaining how I'd misrepresented Level Earth Observer by calling him a flat earther and I corrected him, uh, I corrected that, uh, that statement and changed what he wanted to be called, which was a demonstrable realist. And also highlighted his three fundamentals, which is what he wanted me to uh, to correct as well, because obviously I, I shouldn't be claiming what he believes, it's up to him. And the reason I made that correction uh, was because he requested it so that he will look at the 50 minute ISS tour video and try and debunk it. That was his, um, that's what he said he would do. He said, one thing you need to do is make the correction and I will look, he said, I'll entertain your space propaganda, I think were his words. Now, uh, he has responded, but he's responded in a very, um, a very underhand way. So I put a comment on one of his videos about three days ago, saying that a correction was coming. Um, so instead of commenting on the correction video, instead of commenting on any other, other of my videos, he commented underneath that comment that I made on his channel. Um, and would you believe it, the correction needs a correction. So, looks like we're gonna have to do that. Now, as you can see at the end of that comment, um, he said that he was gonna put it to his viewers whether or not he should take on the 50 minute ISS video, despite the fact that I hadn't made the correction properly. Now, we don't wanna leave it to chance, do we? So I'm going to make those corrections. So then he will be able to look at the video because I really, really, really want him to try and debunk the 50 minute ISS video. So here we go. Now, here is the comment up on screen now, just so you can have a quick look. If you wanna pause it, you can pause it. But uh, there are a couple of things I need to address. And the first one is the a problem with the first fundamental that he believes. And I said that you can't have a pressure system residing next to a vacuum. Now that was incorrect. I need to correct that fundamental belief of his. And I need to add into the fact that uh, you can't have a pressure system sitting next to a vacuum without a solid barrier. That was the bit that I omitted. I didn't omit it on purpose. It was just an accident. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure uh, what his fundamental was. So, But now we know his first fundamental is you cannot have a pressurized system uh, residing next to a vacuum without a solid barrier. So we've got that one out of the way. And the second thing I omitted, which again, I didn't mean to omit, but it is, it's probably, we could call it his fourth fundamental, is that he does have a love of gravity, as he says, uh, but he, I don't think he, well, I can't put words in his mouth, so I'm just gonna say, he has a love of gravity, but whatever is at play, it's not man enough to prove the globe Earth theory. I think that was his words. No, sorry, I just checked. It's not man enough to make the globe Earth uh, a reality. So there we go. That's the two corrections that I needed to make um, off the back of my correction, if that makes sense. So now, Level Earth Observer, you have an absolute clean run. I've corrected my correction. The 50 minute ISS video is ready and waiting. You don't need to ask your, uh, your regular viewers. You just need to do it because you did say if I made the correction, I will do it. I've made a correction. I've made a correction of the correction. Ball is back in your court, my friend. I look forward to seeing this 50 minute video debunked. Uh, good luck. Thanks everyone. See you soon.